Babe, I, I love you so much. I just don't know what my life would be like without you. Like, I love how much you, like, I don't know, push me, encourage me to serve. Like, we can, we can do life together. I love doing, like, normal life together. And, yeah, I don't want that to change. Like, I love being here. And, yeah, so <laughs> I would love it if, if, you would, uh, if you'd marry me, babe. <laughs> Am I supposed to say yes? You I are supposed to, to say, say yes. Do you want to? Yeah. Uh, are you sure? You are my best friend, my love, my favorite person to laugh with, my travel companion and adventure buddy, my forever partner in crime, my encourager and safe place, and now, in just a few hours, you will be my husband. <laughs> I'm so thankful for you, for where you've come, for who you are today, and for who God is shaping you to become. You are kind, passionate, faithful, dedicated, honest, and God-fearing. You are the person I want to share every part of my life with, the one that I go to in both the highs and the lows of life. You lead me closer to Christ and you strive constantly to make your life and our relationship more of a reflection of Him. Lauren, I've said your name more times than I can count for more reasons than I can remember, but today I get to say your name for the first time with my wife. In that word, wife, is wrapped up all of the things that I feel for you and the expression of my love for who you are. Your heart for Jesus and your compassionate care for others. Your constant companionship, the way you push me to be a better man. How you serve with me so well. Your laugh and even your crying. And all of it tied together in the most stunningly beautiful woman I know. <laughs> describes a Christian relationship as one that is eagerly helping one another know, serve, love, and resemble God in deeper and deeper ways. Caleb, I cannot wait to continue knowing, serving, and loving God together in this next season of life. So today, I will vow to love you for the rest of our days. I vow to know, serve, and love Christ as the center of our lives, to put Him first so that I can love you better, to be quick in forgiveness and slow to anger, I vow to offer grace when we stumble and to hold you to a higher standard in Christ. 
I vow to daily lift you in prayer and to not shut down when things get tough, but rather to turn to you in love and in humility. I vow to support you in ministry and be your prayer warrior. I vow to laugh with you and be your adventure buddy and encourage you in all areas of life. I vow to serve you and to love you in plenty and in want, in sickness and in health for all the days of our life. I love you. <laughs> I love you so much. Caleb, I charge you before God and everyone here to take on the mind of Christ, being humble, putting Lauren's interest before your own. And on the days when you are not feeling it or just emotionally exhausted to lean into the spirit, to love Lauren and to build her up. And Lauren, I charge you before God and everyone as well to take on the mind of Christ, humbling yourself to love Caleb even in the mundane of life, to put his interest before your own and count him more significant than yourself. And to you both, you will disappoint the other. You will hurt the other. Let the other person down, but I encourage you to be the first to say sorry and be quick to apply the forgiveness that you receive from Christ to one another. God has you for me. So today as we get married, I'm making a commitment to you before the Lord to love you first, always, and more than all others, second to my Savior. I'll pursue Christ, serve you well, and lead our family in God's call to our work for the kingdom. I'll be by your side in anything to come, welcomed or not. I promise that I will strive to follow my Lord's call in Ephesians 5.25, a call to love you as Christ loves his church, to give myself up for you, for your good, and share in your sanctification until I get to see you in your full glory and perfection. <laughs> I'm so excited to see how God uses the years. He allows me to have with my best friend and the love of my life, and there's no one else I'd rather do it all with. I love you. <laughs> Caleb and Lord, having witnessed your faith in Jesus Christ and your vows of love to one another, it is my joy to present you as husband and wife, Caleb. You may kiss your bride. Okay. Hey, wife. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present to you for the first time ever, Mr. and Mrs. Caleb Zogelman. Sometimes I wake up with the sadness of the days it feels like madness so what would I do without you when colors turn to shades of gray with the weight of the world at the end of the day what would I do without you over the years Caleb has become an incredible worship leader I really loved watching him grow into a musician 
with a passion for leading Jesus Church and worship through song. All in all, I'm just really thankful that music brought us together as friends. A peace of mind always takes me by surprise. You have grown into a woman that pursues the Lord before all else, serves and loves others passionately and unconditionally, works hard for the things you deeply care about. You have been the most loyal friend. You have pushed me to be who I am today. Through all the ups and the downs of life, you have not only stayed my best friend, but I also count you as my sister. I could not be more excited to watch you walk down the aisle to Caleb. What would I do without you? There's so much beauty in being able to live ordinary life together. Cherish the big days like this, but recognize that they won't make up most of your marriage. Most of your marriage is going to be um, just living ordinary life. It might get, seem mundane at times, but the, the small, spontaneous things such as a random date night or a weekend getaway will often bring the best memories for you both. So I would encourage you to learn to see the beauty in the ordinary and allow God to use the day in, day out of life to form your marriage to reflect Christ in the church. So I'm so excited to see how Jesus will use you as a couple to glorify Him. A guilty soul and a worried mind I will never make it if I'm on my own got the morning, I got midnight, you are patient, I'm always on time, oh, what would I do without you? What does the future look like? Man, I'm not really sure, but I know that it's going to be great because it's going to be with her. Um, but I think taking a day at a time and just going where the Lord wants us to go and doing all of it together. Pretty exciting. <laughs> um, it, I feel like there's a lot of unknowns, but I know that it's going to be really great with him by my side. You got your sunshine, I got rain clouds, you got hope, I got my doubts, so what would I do without you? Oh, what would I do without you? Oh, what would I do without you?